Good evening and thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Skylar Henry and I'm Ashley Minnelli. The border war continues. A sign marking the Monroe Bibb County line is causing some confusion for residents. Monroe County's commission chair says he wasn't trying to ruffle any feathers and neither is Bibb, but there was some need for clarification. It doesn't take too long traveling down New Forsyth Road to see this. A sign marking where Monroe County begins. And if you look a little below that, you'll see another sign saying contested. It's arguably the first time a visual reference has been made to the age old Monroe Bibb County border dispute. Bibb Monroe County line is still being disputed up at the state level. They're looking for clear guidance on where that line actually exists. The Monroe County sign went up on the contested line inside of the current Bibb County area. Chris Floor with the Macon Bibb County government says Bibb County put up the contested sign for some clarification. They actually told the mayor that the sign had gone up and so we went out and put the contested sign just so that people recognize that we are still going through that process of determining where the line is. Monroe Commission Chair Mike Bilderback says posting the original sign wasn't a jab. A resident wanted an idea of where the two counties met. So they put a sign there about a month ago. It's not an issue for me for them to put it up. I understand why. We are still working to keep Bibb County, Bibb County. The sign sits roughly a few feet from where a surveyor marked the county line. Bilderbach says he actually wants to continue the relationship he's built with Bibb County. We have a, a relationship that uh, encompasses more than just the county line. You know, we have law enforcement, fire service. I mean, we've we've got um, uh, joint grants. At the end of the day, it's another chapter to the long book of feet and inches that separates two neighboring counties. Millions of tax dollars are up for grabs in this dispute. The border case is back in the hands of a Fulton County Superior Court judge. No word yet on when that judge will listen to the case.